Did you know that a robust environmental monitoring program, EMP, can be the difference between a safe meal and a health hazard? Today, we'll explore why EMPs are crucial for food safety and consumer trust. Before we get to the specifics of the program, it is important to know that environmental monitoring is not only a best practice, but also FDA's, USDA's, and third-party audits requirement. Having an effective EMP is required to satisfy regulatory requirements in ready-to-eat food facilities. An EMP acts as an early warning system, detecting contamination risks before they reach your product and consumers. It's not just about compliance, it's about ethical responsibility and maintaining brand reputation. An effective EMP will protect the customers and your firm. Biological food safety hazards, including environmental listeria and salmonella, continue to be the leading factor for food product recalls. For small businesses, a food recall could be devastating. Environmental monitoring program is an important element of a food safety system and not a standalone standard. EMPs are used to verify the effectiveness of your sanitation program and help you detect biological contamination from the environment, including equipment, people, and raw materials you bring to your high-risk operation. Let's talk about the elements of an EMP. Start with a risk assessment and zone mapping to identify contamination-prone areas. This helps focus resources on high-risk zones, ensuring comprehensive monitoring. High-risk areas are those where ready-to-eat food is exposed to the environment. You should focus your swabbing efforts in those areas. In your risk assessment, you must also define target organisms. Choose target organisms based on your facility's history and products. In wet processing facilities, you should look for Listeria monocytogenis and in dry facilities for Salmonella. Of course, it is acceptable to test on indicator organisms. An indicator for Listeria mono is Listeria species. For Salmonella, an appropriate indicator is Enterobacteria. Develop a sampling plan that includes site locations, sampling frequency, and testing methods to ensure thorough coverage. Frequency of swabbing can be based on the volume of food produced per week. For example, companies making over 300,000 pounds per week swab weekly, between 100 and 300,000, twice monthly, and smaller businesses producing less than 100,000 pounds per week could choose monthly schedule. You can also base the frequency on historical data. More positive or out of limit results in the past will increase the frequency of swabbing. It is expected that swabbing zones include zone one, food contact, such as tabletops, utensils, or mixer pads, zone two, indirect food contact, such as control panels, handles, and sides of the machinery, and zone three, non-food contact, including floors, drains, trash containers, or brooms. Many companies also swab outside of high-risk areas, zone four, to ensure adjacent areas are free from contamination. It is also expected that swabs are collected prior to start of production and during operation. This way, you will have a full picture of microbiological state of your production environment. Assemble a cross-functional team to execute your EMP effectively. Ensure all personnel are trained in swabbing techniques and hygiene protocols to maintain high standards. Keep in mind that improperly collected swabs may result in false results. Always follow recommendation from your certified laboratory for proper swab collection and storage. Utilize data management tools for trend analysis and continuous improvement. Regularly review data to identify patterns and adjust strategies accordingly. Most companies use mapping system to map out of limit or positive results. This method allows for quick identification of problematic areas in your production. Data from prior swab tests should be analyzed and used to adjust the program, including the frequency or swabbing zones. Measure your EMP's effectiveness using KPIs and trend analysis. Regular reviews and stakeholder input Ensure your program adapts to new threats and standards. In summary, you need to remember that environmental monitoring programs are part of HACCP food safety systems. To complete an appropriate EMP, you need to identify target organisms, determine frequency and swabbing zones with food and non-food contact surfaces. Your team must collect and analyze the results. Trends, positive or negative, must be considered when reassessing the plan. Reassessment should occur annually or when needed. Training is essential to ensure the effectiveness of your program. By implementing a dynamic EMP, 
You'll not only safeguard public health, but also enhance consumer confidence. Start refining your EMP today to protect your brand and ensure food safety. Our team at BD Food Safety Consultants can assist in development of site-specific EMP. Contact us by email or phone listed on the screen. You can also visit our website to schedule a free consultation. Thank you for your attention.